Hi Scorpio, how are you? This is your general love reading. I'll try to get details about the current situation, about the energies in the near future, the person on your mind and other details as well. If you are new here, welcome as well. And I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. I'm opening some spots for personal readings as well. Now let's start. First, let's shuffle four times the deck. Two more shuffles. What are the energies around you at this moment? Distance. Somebody is moving away or you're thinking about keeping this distance and moving away from something that was very conflictual or not worth it anymore. There's a new cycle being opened. You may be aware of this or not, but there's a new door being opened here. And this is this seems like a very good one with that Wheel of Fortune. There's so much attraction and passion and desire. I think the coldness, the uh, giving each other not much feelings anymore or feeling like uh, the connection was becoming very intellectual without much uh, emotional connection. I think that a new chapter is being opened here with much more passion and desire. You will feel it. You will... Uh, relieve that passionate chemistry again that's what i'm getting at least somebody seems very interested here i have fixed signs aquarius taurus leo and scorpio fire air are emphasized as well a new person possibly might help you to start something completely new and this is karmic uh, this is meant to happen with the wheel of fortune now let's see about what is affecting you in your subconscious. Some truth, some clarity uh, that you may have realized. Now, I, I invite you to think, reflect or journal or write your dreams in your journal because you may get information, you may get details. You have a great um, sense of intuition. This is very high at this moment. Some of you have thought or tried so hard to make this successful, but unfortunately some clarity came to light. Some lack of honesty was present here that might have caused a big damage to the relationship. But let's see exactly what was the main challenge in the past for you. The magician, a very passionate person, uh, they seemed like very much into you, but the magician is in the position of the challenge. So this person might have had traits of a manipulator not being that honest in everything they said to you or did now they had all the power to manifest a better connection with you but somehow they were not that consistent in showing that attention or desire towards you now let's see about the person that is on your mind they want to reconcile. I have Sagittarius, I have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Now, this person wants to talk to reconcile, but they are not thinking about restarting the relationship at this moment. Right now, they are more focused in themselves, in their job, their career, their financial stability. They're putting a pause at this connection because it is very heavy and dramatic, but... I see them having a mature, serious intention to make things right with you. That's the only thing I'm getting about this person. Now let's see more details. You want to avoid a situation where you both or one of the partners is very guarded, has so much friction, does not open up, does not show their feelings, thoughts and intentions. Your hope is that Queen of Cups, a partner that has true feelings, deep and powerful, is honest and is stable emotionally, is emotionally mature as well. That is very important, emotionally mature. Now let's see about the energies in the near future. I see some distance in fact. Knight of Wands, uh, okay. 
what I'm going to say here is that there might be an attempt to reconcile or to reconnect, but it is mostly to get that impression of uh, having some closure. That's what I'm getting. Somebody wants to initiate some contact. And this is from a past person, definitely, without judgment. The desire is good here. It might be you or them that wants to see if this connection can have an upgraded, updated, better version of it. And it might happen very, very fast as a change. You might not expect it at all, this person coming. But is this going anywhere? I think if there's no mutual cooperation and work, much hard work, harder work to be done here for both of you as a team, this cannot go anywhere. What is blocking this situation mostly is you both have lost that confidence into each other. There's a lack of uh, feeling secure there, feeling confident that this will go stable and solid. And at the same time, there is so much overthinking, overanalyzing, that is not helping the situation at all. At all. That might be the blockages that I'm getting. But I see an attempt here to do something. I don't see it happening immediately because the position started with the Eight of Cups. Somebody is very determined to move on and uh, not turn their head back. And look, in, and look into the past. But uh, there might be an, an event or something happening here that you come back together and try to make it work. It might not be that easy, in fact. I want to be very straightforward here with you with that Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords. But if you both want this very much, this can get better. And it might lead to something important like Ten of Pentacles. Like long-term commitment and stability. But yes, as I said, it's not that easy. It, you both need to want uh, this connection very, very much. Okay, this was the general reading. Now, as I said in the beginning, I'm opening some spots for personal readings. If you are interested, you can send an email request at my email address. Everything is in the description box below. Uh, again, if you are new and you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. You can check the schedule in the description box below. And I hope to see you soon. See you the next reading and bye for now.